Shipmates, I'm Vice Admiral John Mustin, Chief of Navy Reserve and Commander of Navy Reserve Force. This is the final update on our progress in the generational work underway to transform the Reserve Force. Previously, we've heard from the flag champions of the Navy Reserve fighting instructions design, train, and mobilize lines of effort. Today, I'm joined by my friend, Rear Admiral Nancy LaCour, Commandant Naval District Washington, who's leading the Develop the Force line of effort. I'm counting on her to drive improvements that foster your continued professional growth, that result in better care for you and your families, and that minimize administrative distractions so you can focus on your wellness and your readiness. Nancy, I know our shipmates are interested in an update on what you and the team have been up to. Over to you. Thank you, CNR. Shipmates, in the seven short months since Vice Admiral Mustin issued NERFI 2022, the Develop the Force line of effort has tackled some of the big issues that impact your quality of life and your professional success in the Navy Reserve. We've developed an onboarding website and standardized the gain process to ensure that you are integrated with your unit and the force from day one. The first ever Navy Reserve Family Connect engaged our sailors and family members to develop effective communication about your needs and challenges, and we've learned a lot from you in that process. We've added maternity leave for CELRES sailors and are piloting a childcare program that will give families the flexibility and support they need to participate and train in their readiness billets. We have expanded the Meritorious Advancement Program and delegated quotas to unit commanders to increase MAP advancements, and we are very excited to offer a new and valuable Enlisted to Officer Program to the Reserve Force. The TAR Officer In-Service Procurement Program allows qualified enlisted sailors the opportunity to become an officer while retaining their skills and expertise within the reserve component. And last year, we began rolling out the CNO's Get Real, Get Better initiative. Stay tuned on that one. Many of you will receive important training in the year ahead. But know that Get Real, Get Better is about developing a problem-solving culture that empowers our people to achieve exceptional performance. We have made great strides in a short time, and we're moving out on a number of other key initiatives. The Develop the Force LOE will build warfighting resilience by embracing and serving the needs of you, our reserve sailors, and your families before, during, and after activation. Sir, back to you. Thank you, Nancy. Fantastic progress on critically important work thus far, and I know we're just getting started. Shipmates, at this point, you've heard from the Chief of Naval Operations and each of our NERFI flag champions. They've shared the hard work underway to transform the Navy Reserve Force, so we're ready and relevant in an era of strategic competition. The activities behind each of these lines of effort combine to generate mission and mobilization readiness, making our force more lethal and responsive to warfighting requirements. We certainly have much to be proud of, but there's still much to do. This winter, we released Battle Orders 2032, a vision for the Navy Reserve that expands on the NERFI lines of effort to define how we will think, act, and operate differently in the coming decade. In the Battle Orders, I specifically call out our work to modernize our professional development and to educate our supportive families. Nancy, what are you and the team working on in these areas? Thanks, CNR. We are already moving out on enhancing leadership development and eliminating roadblocks to our sailors' participation. We are developing tools and programs to take care of Navy Reserve families, streamlining access to earned benefits, and enhancing the ways we care for and enable CELRES sailors to maintain health, welfare, and readiness in and out of drilling status. The battle orders chart the course to develop the warfighting primacy of our force in the future. Everything we're doing is aligned to that vision. Roger that, Nancy. Superb work from you and the team. Keep up the great work, shipmates. As you've heard, we're moving out on the things that make you a full up round. In return, I'm counting on each of you to know how you factor into our collective warfighting capability. Are you ready? Let's get busy out there. <laughs>